Hey there, YouTube. So I know you guys really like these loud birds and wind, just like, you know, every other time they do videos, it seems like. It's your favorite format of videos. But this is a hood unboxing again. We got a different hood. That's the other hood that we unboxed on. This is the truck. So, kind of been out of it for a little bit because I wrecked the bike and I'm recovering from that so I'm okay I didn't do anything too fast moving I'm all right my shoulders okay so we're gonna do a hood unboxing of bike parts probably told you what I already got it didn't mess up the bike too bad set me back a little bit but some of the parts I already had so I'm not really uh, I didn't mess up the progress too much that sucks oh I got a hundred dollar wine voucher there's some fork seals so uh, and it comes with the dust boots too so that's pretty nice kind of important so I'll be changing those fork seals changing the uh, fork fluid the fork oil and those will be taken care of I got this left side turn signal but now I need a right side one because I dropped it on it and busted it but it's okay because this was pretty inexpensive for a good condition used one the chrome's all nice so that's pretty cool and I'm going to go ahead and clear the stage for the next one. Guess what this is? Big black rubbers. Because everybody likes big black rubbers. But, this being said, since I did wreck the bike, I know it sounds all good and I'm feeling better and the bike's not really that bad. But I have, have decided to... Uh, to retire it. Anyway, all joking aside, these are the tires, and it is getting retired. Uh, so I got fork seals, turn signals. Um, I have to replace the tack on it with the tack that I got with the instrument cluster. Uh, so that, you know, I already had the extra part for that. What else did I need to replace? There's something else I... Oh, I gotta put new handlebars on it. Like, it didn't mess up the handlebar grips or the master cylinder. It pushed the master cylinder back and folded in the, the uh, handlebar tube. But that's not a big deal. Basically, it's almost done. I just gotta do a couple things and then I can go do, like, a legit shakedown run that doesn't involve me trying to drift a motorcycle in gravel. Then I can register it and have everything like good to go and actually be able to go ride it. So this is like the last big thing and then it's done. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm excited to not be hurting anymore because uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. I was hurting like really bad for like a week. I was in a sling for a week and then, uh, then I got healed. You know, the big guy upstairs healed me, so I'm able to go back to work with two hands and actually be able to do this stuff again. And I learned a lesson about being foolish on a motorcycle. So, don't be stupid on your motorcycle. Just enjoy the ride and don't go trying to drift your bike. It's not a car. It's not really meant to be drifted, even though some people do that. And they're good at it, but that's you're not them. So, keep it up. Put this side down, the rubber side down. 
So that's your public service announcement for the day for all you motorcycle riders out there. But I think that pretty much wraps up this one in a short video. But uh, I think that, that this will cover this hood unboxing. And we'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. See you next time.